Hello and what is going on everybody, it's Steven here and welcome just to a very quick tutorial and today I want to show you how to fix um, 3G problems on the new MTK6735 chipset. So I received a couple of devices right now to test the Bluebo X550, the Yukitel U8, the Elephone S2, and they all come with the um, MTK6735 chipset. Now this chipset has sometimes um, 3G issues, and with that I mean it's very hard to get it connected. And in my opinion, there must be something wrong with the software. But anyway, I want to thank uh, some user here. Um, he commented actually under the Blue Blue X550 unboxing and it was Henrik Sai or something like that. So big thanks bro for pointing me into the correct direction with the engineering mode to check this out. So the test mode because that was the problem. And yeah, today I want to show you what I did and why I did it and yeah, how to fix actually the 3G problem. Because on the Blue Blue X550 I couldn't even connect to 3G but also I could not um, find any 3G networks even though in the settings here so you probably will know that we can quickly go here to the settings we have here sim cards so here you can see your sim card settings and you see um, it's on so definitely working and also here so let me close that Facebook crap there and also here under more we have cellular networks and you see we have data roaming enabled and preferred network type is 3G and before that I did just set it to 3G, 4G, everything so it was not working at all and there were some simple things which I did to fix it and once again thanks to Henrik for pointing this out Okay, so yeah, also you can see the access point names, they are definitely correct, so that's my provider, and yeah, you could search here for a network, but it wasn't finding any. Then we can quickly talk about the bands. So far, as I've seen, um, some MTK6735 phones come with dual band 3G, and some of them come with triple band 3G. Very strange, because the chipset, I think, should even support quad band on 3G. So you can unlock the bands, but it's not like, yeah, just run a program and unlock it. You really have to wait for an NVRAM update from the manufacturer. Okay, so that's SIM card slot 2, and it supports only GSM, so 2G. And, well, that's SIM card slot 2, and here we have SIM card slot 1. It supports GSM, so um, 2G. It supports UMTS, so WCDMA, that's 3G. We have here the IMT2000 band. And don't worry, if you need 2100 in your country, so the IMT2000 is 2100. Then here we have the 850 band and the 900 band. So on my other phone, I don't have the 850 band. I think that is a problem, but I'm not really sure so far. So I guessed actually that they use 2100 here in my country, so very hard to find it out without calling the provider, which I will do in the next days. Okay, but LT band 1, 3, 7 and 20, but so far as I don't have an LT contract, I just want to get 3G to work, which I actually, yeah, just got to work. So we can have a look at the dialer application. What you have to do is you just have to open up the dialer APK and here you dial star hash star hash 4636 hash star hash star. Then you're in the test mode and it's really important that you go from the test mode here to phone information. So you also have your battery information, usage, statistics, Wi-Fi, but we don't need that right now. So we just go to phone information. There you can see your IMEI number, the current network, so it's 3AT. Some very popular network here in my country. And you can see also the signal level, so signal strength of the GSM 3G signal. But, well, um, I don't want to go through all that. I just want to show you what I did to get um, GSM or 3G working, because not even um, 2G was working. First of all, checking the bands. So here at the top, you can go to select radio band. And mine was set to AUS bands, so AUS and AUS2. And that was not working, so I can do it now. Just have a look at 3G, what happens if I just switch the band mode. Well, it disappears and it was all the time here like this and I couldn't connect. Okay, so now it reconnected, but I think it was not the OS2, but it took really a lot of time to find something. I think it was OS2, yeah, sorry guys. And you see, it couldn't connect. And this was a huge problem on the phone. So I did set it then to Euroband automatic. So you can choose whatever you want to. You see, yeah, OS2 was it, because I only have Edge anymore, and this absolutely sucked. So I just went to Euroband, and there we go. So it's now setting the phone to Euroband, 
and sometimes you have to restart the modem and then it works. But you see, um, 3G is now working, so that's pretty good. And also, I had to do something else. And you can see here the set preferred network type and GSM Auto was not working. So there was also WCDMA preferred, which was not working too. So it just showed 2G, couldn't find a network, couldn't connect. So I had to switch to LT and GSM and then just wait, turn off the radio, turn it on again, and then 3G was working with roaming. Well, and here you have some other settings, so you can turn off radio, um, read, and turn it on back again. You can reboot the phone if it's not saving the settings. Okay, then, yeah, you can turn off IMS registration if required, and just keep the rest here normal, so it's actually not needed. So the main things you do is you just switch the preferred network type. I mean, it's pretty confusing, because it's LT or GSM, but it's, a, it's the only thing which was working for me. So WCDMA or 3G, I can choose everything here. It wasn't connecting. I had to switch to LT and GSM. Not really sure why, but honestly, I'm quite happy that it now works so I can do the review in the next days. Don't forget to switch the band here at the top. So honestly, yeah, with that AUS band, nothing was working. So make sure you switch to the Euro band. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that's basically it. And that was my quick tutorial on how to get it connected to 3G. And well, I've just got Skype notifications, so you can see if 3G is working. We can just check the browser. So here on chinadevices.com, which you should definitely check out if you have any questions about Chinese devices, you can see that this is working too. I can now browse the forum again, enjoy 3G on my Blue Wax 550. And if you have the same problem, then just try this. You have nothing to lose, you cannot destroy your phone. Yeah, um, if there's something wrong, just reboot, just re-switch the settings, and there you go. Once again, guys, thank you so much for Henrik um, for pointing this out. You, you guys are really awesome. It's a really nice community, and it's so nice that somebody helps me, I help other people, and I absolutely love that. So I really hope we can just together fix all the problems on our Chinese smartphones. So make sure you check out chinadevices.com, and yeah, I really hope that I see you on the forum and also in my other videos. So thanks for watching, guys. The review of the Blue Boo will come soon. Unboxing of those two Q-Bots will also come today. So thanks for watching. I really hope I see you again in my next videos. Have a nice day and bye-bye.